Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Giovanni's of Moorhead. Order online at giovannispizzapower.com. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. The Kentucky Welding Institute, experience that's built, not bought. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. The Jack Rowe Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Insurance the right way, the human way. Moorhead Pediatrics, exceptional care for what matters most to you. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Fazoli's of Moorhead, fast, fresh Italian. Joshua Trent Custom Designs, looking to build? Let us design your house plans. Wendy's of Moorhead, fresh, never frozen. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care, one patient at a time. Commonwealth Chiropractic, treating everyone like family. Moorhead State University Bookstore, a Barnes & Noble College Store. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. And Standard for Builders Paving and Sealing of West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. Hello and welcome in to Inside Moorhead State Basketball from the Academic Athletic Center on the campus of Moorhead State University, as always, alongside the Eagle Head basketball coach, Preston Spradlin. I'm David Patrick, and Preston, for the first time in 39 years, Wayne Martin was walking the sidelines back in the day, but for the first time in 39 years, the Moorhead State Eagles are the outright OVC regular season champion, and it sure has a good ring to it. Has a great ring to it, and uh, it's, it's very exciting, but uh, honestly, you mentioned him there, Coach Martin, someone who's been uh, very special to both you and I on a personal and professional level. And uh, to just be mentioned in the same breath as Coach Martin um, is always uh, is, is quite an honor in his teams that he had. And, um, you know, 39 years, that's, you know, that's before I was born, David, so it's very exciting. But really proud of our guys and uh, just the fact that we've been able to kind of stay the course, stay very in the moment uh, with what we've done here and just take a day-by-day -day approach. And then all of a sudden you look up and uh, you see the growth that we've had and, um, and to get to this point and to be uh, crowned with that with a, with a full game left um, is, is pretty special. Stay with us when we come back. Complete highlights and post-game locker room celebration for Moorhead State's big win over Eastern Illinois. That's next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. days, banking like basketball moves at a fast pace. At Commercial Bank, that same fast pace comes to life with our lenders. We're fast with local loan decisions. Bankers who you know and who know you. Simply put, it's better banking. Commercial Bank, where friendliness prevails. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. My great-grandfather opened the first Tenton store in 1918, and our family opened our first feed mill in the mid-1950s. We now have six locations and a wide range of products including feed, seed, fertilizer, crop protection, animal health products, fencing materials, and pet food. Though times have changed, our commitment to providing you with the highest quality products and knowledgeable customer service is as strong as ever. I'm Adam Hinton, inviting you to stop in and see for yourself. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. There's no better way to spend the day than with lunch or dinner at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Enjoy delicious steak, chicken and ribs, along with our trademark honey butter rolls and hometown hospitality. 
Hi, I'm Tim Kogan. I promise to provide 100% guest satisfaction here at Reno's Roadhouse and Morehead. Go wild! Go west! Go Reno's! Woo! Eagle Game Highlights is sponsored by Fazoli's of Moorhead. Fast, fresh Italian. Biggest thing, fellas, we gotta come hooked up, ready to play. Starts with our communication, all right, and your intensity and your ability to move on to the next play. Let's go have some fun. Preston, we've talked about this time and time again during this season, but your team came out locked in and ready to play. Yeah, without question, you know, you get to this point in the year, and uh, these, these guys have heard it many times before, but they don't need a whole lot of motivation in terms of what's on the line and how well we have to play. Um, you know, it's we haven't played EIU in a long time. It was early, about a month ago, we played that game without Mark and played really well here at home. But they're a team that had gotten better, but we wanted to prove that so have we. And uh, we just did some really nice things in this game, David. I mean, especially defensively, I think we had four kills in the first half. Um, shot the ball, you know, extremely well. We go 13 of 25 from three with uh, six of those coming from uh, from Khalil Thomas, but just did some really good things, changing defenses in this game. They played a lot of zone, zone to man. Obviously, their man-to-man -man hedging ball screens, they actually changed their coverage. Uh, right there, that's us rewarding our defense, getting out there. And Mark got a hockey assist on that. Jake got an actual assist, and uh, I thought we just really shared the ball well. You know, it wasn't some big-time scoring game for Mark, but this is where he just shows his growth as a player that, man, he has just become a great player and he impacts winning without having to score the ball. Obviously, he can do that, uh, but he can he can be a dominant player on the court and not have to score the ball at all times. And just to talk about a dominant player, you know, when, when Khalil's making threes at the rate he does, we're a different team, David. And uh, Andrew, just big time pace right there. You saw a couple more assists. He had four assists, zero turnovers in this game. Uh, Mark getting in there and you know, uh, just getting it up on the glass, Alex getting in there, you know, seven offensive rebounds for us. Uh, the big fella, you know, coming up big in this one as well. We went to him early and, and he delivered and uh, just a fun game. Brandon Moffmer did some really, really nice things. Again, just the unselfishness that we played with. And what's crazy about Khalil, you know, he missed his first shot of the night at a wide open three and then he goes on to make six in a row after that, including the, the two that you're seeing um, right here. But you know, going back to Mark Freeman, 35 minutes, made very, very few uh, defensive mistakes, but he had eight assists in this game, two steals, five big rebounds, and uh, just did some really nice things that impact winning. And uh, talk about impact and winning right here. We needed a desperation, you know, shot clock winding down, bad possession all across the board from us, bad press attack, all of it. And then uh, Jake grabs it, throws it in, and we kind of joked it's exactly how we threw it up. But we needed this basket right here. You know, they were, we were at a 14-point lead at halftime. We had cut it to 10, and then all of a sudden, uh, Jake throws it in and gives us some big momentum. But beautiful play right there. Andrew getting in there to two feet, embracing that pivot foot, and uh, finding Brandon Moffmer. And the pace that Andrew has played with, David, has just been so impressive, and he's been so consistent uh, throughout the conference play. And uh, there you got Brandon just, uh, we call that smoking a layup, and he just, boy, he smoked it like a big cigar, but Alex was there to, to clean it up for us and the big fella in the middle. And again, just the passing in this game, David, was really nice. We only have eight, eight turnovers in this one, which is a big, uh, a key stat against Eastern Illinois, who's, who's top three in our league at turning over their opponents. Beautiful pass right there. You see this, the one-handed skip. We were up 23 um, with about six minutes to go, and. We only scored two points for the final two minutes, or excuse me, five minutes of the game, which was just remarkable. Um, and then they were able to, to go on a bit of a run there. And I think our guys were kind of sensing, uh, hey, the, you know, we know what's happening when this horn blows. We're going to have an opportunity to celebrate uh, something pretty significant and make some history. And I think their mind kind of got on that. But it offered us an opportunity to come in the next day, David, and watch film of uh, obviously a lot of really good things in the first 35 minutes of the game. And then a few things that were poor in the last five minutes that allowed us to keep our edge. Let's head to the locker room. We ain't finished yet, man. We ain't finished. Simple. Not not finished. Hey, it feels good though. Feels good. Feels good. We worked hard for this, but we're not
We're not done. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done. The shot clock going off from the right wing, flipped the ball up. I guess you'd call it a hook shot. And it banked in. Amazing, man. We're number one. I'm in the ring right here. Right on this finger. First time in, in 39 years, right, that this program has won the uh, won this thing outright, and you deserve it. All right, okay. I'm, I'm just unbelievably proud of you. All right, I'm thankful for the the lessons we've learned along the way. I'm thankful for the losses. I'm thankful for the tough wins. I'm thankful for the tough days. All right, because you guys, man, you have grown each and every day through each, throughout all of that. Okay, and I'm more proud of your growth and who you guys are as men than I am what you accomplished here today, okay? But I will remind you, we are not done. Does everybody understand We're not that? done. We're not done. We're not done. All right. All right, listen, listen. When we got all you guys together, I knew we had a great team. We had potential for a great team. We had a lot of really good individual players, but more than anybody else in this league, we have a great team, okay? As long as you guys just keep having fun, keep caring about each other, keep wanting to come in here one more day, one more day. That's all you got to think about. Just one more day together, man. One more day together, all right? And we'll continue to go on a fantastic run that you'll remember for the rest of your lives, okay? I'm super proud of you guys. Let's enjoy this one tonight. Let's enjoy it. You've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Ask your independent agent if Auto Owners makes sense for you. <sighs> Happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware was founded by Philip Lewis nearly 45 years ago and is still locally owned and operated by the Lewis family. Our customers' needs have always come first, meaning we continue to enhance and expand our inventory. Big Four is a staple of the Moorhead and Round County community and we take great pride in giving back. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust and pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. The moment you walk through the door, you'll know why we are Ace, the helpful place. That's Big Four Lumber, Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead, Kentucky. At the Citizens Bank, we have totally free checking and a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best, the Citizens Bank, home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. At Moorhead Pediatrics, we strive to deliver the best possible care to your children. Our providers focus on providing newborn, child, and adolescent specific medicine, including mental health and critical areas of growth and development. We are committed to helping parents and families raise healthy, happy children. With quality care, compassion, and experience, join the many parents and families that have looked to us to care for their children. Moorhead Pediatrics, exceptional care for what matters most to you. At First National Bank, we believe in banking made easy. Whether it's a checking or savings account, or a loan for a home or auto, First National Bank is the place for you. First National Bank is proud to be part of this community and a sponsor of this show. Good luck to Coach Spradlin and his staff on their season. Banking at First National is as easy as one, two, three. Let us assist you with all your banking needs. First National Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Giovanni's Pizza is a favorite stop for Eagle basketball fans before or after the game. Come taste for yourself. Delicious pizza, pasta, subs, salads, wings, and much more at the perfect location, 700 East Main Street, across from the Academic Athletic Center. MSU head coach Preston Spradlin and his staff enjoy game day meals with us. 
dine in for great customer service, or order online at giovannispizzapower.com. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Wendy's. Fresh, never frozen. Preston, senior day, always extra special here at Moorhead State University. And on Saturday, four very special young men honored at center court. Yeah, man, and a bit of a unique senior day as well, just with the, uh, the mixture of guys that we have. Uh, student manager, uh, two graduate players who have only got, you know, had the opportunity to be here one year with us, and then a guy that uh, has been here all four years. And so we've kind of got the full spectrum of it, but uh, senior day across the country is, uh, is a special time, you know, final home game here in Johnson Arena that has been so good to all of our players over the years. Um, but it's, it's special to be able to honor those guys with a nice gift, a framed jersey, and, and their families to be able to come out and a great crowd, great atmosphere for, for a final home game here. Uh, but talking about those guys, you know, uh, Austin Cummins is uh, just behind the scenes, does so much work uh, to make sure that our program runs smoothly and he takes care of our players. Just gives so much energy and enthusiasm and it's fun to be around, a big part of our success and uh, you know, want to make sure that we always honor those guys. And then you talk about our two um, graduate seniors, you know, Alex Gross, one of the uh, you know, only players in Division One basketball with the rebound and point accolades that he has. And uh, to be able to trust us and come here for his final year of eligibility and came here with the mission that he was going to win a championship and able to do that. Same thing for Brandon Moffmer. You know, both of those guys were winners at the Division II, the NAI level, and came here with the same pedigree, and that was really evident um, throughout the season in the moment these guys got here, that they knew how to work, they knew what it takes on a day in and day out basis uh, to get to the point to where we are right now. And just two unbelievable people, not just great players, but how hard each of those guys have worked from the moment they got here to make sure that that transition from uh, Division II and NAI to Division I was seamless and that, that just is a testament to their character and their work ethic and um, and then our final guy LJ Bryan been here all four years with us DP uh, part of our championship run two years ago again right now and he's just uh, the ultimate everyday guy uh, ultra competitive very professional takes care of business on the court off the court he's always ready to uh, to do whatever is asked as his uh, for his team to be successful. He is an ultimate winner and uh, man he's a phenomenal teammate too and he's very fun to be around. Let's take a look at the highlights of Moorhead State's Senior Day matchup with UT Martin with the voice of the Eagles, Chuck Marat. Popping forward Wolf down the near sideline, Freeman, alley-oop feed inside to Gross, Gross under the goal, tries to work his way back for the wraparound lane and scores it. Mark Freeman has it down the right sideline offensive end, Thelwell baseline right to drive, Wide left, Freeman for three, swish! Freeman on Sears, cross court left side, at the wing, Thelwell angle drive to the hole with a runner from three, got it! Oh. Wide left, catching over his head, Mopper, far side at the arc, Freeman, jump feed left corner, Thelwell turns around, shoots a free and drains it! Eight points now for Thelwell, 19 to 10, Moorhead State. Thelwell, right wing, Comes back out front. Dish down low. There's Gross over his head for the first lap. Got it. Nine minutes to play in the first half. Right arc, Moffmer. Holding, turning left. Straight away, Wolf, far side. Thelwell, he'll penetrate the lane to the goal. The runner off the glass and in. He's knocked down. Count that basket and get the free throw. He's fouled. Thelwell, bounce back out to Gross between the circles. Right arc, Freeman. Bounce down low to the cutting. Gross who lays it home. Alex Gross with six to the block and looked for help and back out to Freeman, wide right. Freeman taking the crossover, spins to his right to the block to the baseline with a goal, and he scores the layup. Mark can't penetrate inside the lane. Gross backs down, turns baseline left, Lamb County, he's got his double double. Ten points to go along with 11 rebounds. Thelwell down the right arc to the baseline. Got to the goal with a scoop and score. Oh, boy, he exploded as he hit the baseline. Jake got the move. Near side, Thelwell. He'll penetrate to Wolf. He'll shoot the three. Got it. 
Jake with six, and Moore hits Jake by 10 at 41 31. Bellwell turns right, comes out top right, hash Freeman. Mark fakes behind the back dribble. Got to the goal baseline, right corner. Moffer, catch and shoot, three switch. Five for Brandon. Works between the circles, right hand dribble. Runs far arc with it. Back out to Gross, head of the key. Alex a bounce to his right, gets it to the cutting. Bellwell slams it down with two hands, give him 15 in the ball game. Back to Wolf, Wolf to the right hash, bounce baseline. Here comes Mark Freeman for the land. Slam down the foul by Alex Gross. Alex with 12. For the right hash, Wolf. Wolf down the wing, eight to shoot. Seven to shoot. Jake controlling, back to the goal, turn left to the lane. Got to the baseline, went left hand, left and roll and go. High right, fell well, up top, Gross, right hash, Moffman. Bounce down low, cutting Gross with a scoop and score. Alex with 14. To win a regular season championship, first time in almost 40 years, is pretty special. Speaks a lot to the character of our guys. It's really nice, you know, we've had great crowds all year, and uh, they deserve they deserve to enjoy this victory, and we appreciate them coming in here in person and helping us get to this point. On the locker room, come on, buddy, come on. journey we've been on you guys know what it is you don't need a big long speech on this okay but to finish the way that you did against a good team who was just dying to beat you dying to beat you is going to prepare you for next week all right we've already enjoyed this right here without the trophy but we are not done I like the fact we're not in here going crazy and celebrating because we're not going to be complacent okay we're going to get everyone's best shot we may see those guys again but it's not about who we see on Friday and Saturday of next week it's about who we are and who we turn ourselves into over the next few days as we prepare for that thing. You got me? At Total Care Pharmacy, they do so much more than just fill your prescriptions. They have a nice selection of gifts and apparel with free gift wrapping and free delivery within Moorhead City limits. Plus, you can save money and earn rewards through their loyalty program. Total Care Pharmacy cares about the community. That's why they offer vaccinations, a diabetes education program, and a wide selection of diabetic shoes. Stop in and see the fine folks at Total Care Pharmacy, 206 West Main Street in Moorhead. Hi, I'm Gary Markham, proud Moorhead State alum and managing partner of Tim Shore Auto Group. I'd like to welcome you to our state-of-the-art facility on Kentucky 801, just off I-64. We offer new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Ford makes, along with a wide selection of quality pre-owned vehicles. We now invite you to take the short drive to satisfaction in Moorhead or our two newest locations, Maysville and Lexington. We are Tim Shore Auto Group. Welcome back to Inside Moorhead State Basketball in Preston, the week we've anxiously awaited, OVC Tournament Week. Of course, as the one seed, you get the double bye, play Friday night, 7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Eastern, and we're all, all excited for it. Well, absolutely. You know, um, <clears throat> this will be the first time uh, since the OVC has gone to the 
double by format that we've been able to secure that. And obviously, we've had um, second place finishes two different occasions, but uh, one being a COVID year that we did not do the double by, and in a few years, my interim season actually, uh, we had an east and west in the OVC at that point in time, and although we were Second overall, we got the three seed and didn't get that. So this will be a new experience for our team. Uh, very exciting to be able to get to go down there, play the earlier game, as opposed to the late game that we've had the past couple years down in Evansville. But it's tournament time, um, and, and got to shout out the, uh, the city of Evansville. They do an unbelievable job, David, as you know, the beautiful venue of the Ford Center. Uh, but a lot of excitement as we get to roll in there for the first time in almost 40 years as the regular season champs. And uh, you know, just down the road, playing on Friday night to get our, our fans an opportunity to maybe take a, an extra hour off of work and, uh, and then head down to Evansville and, and see some really good basketball, as you've seen all year here in the OVC, come to a final close there in the Ford Center. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next week from beautiful Evansville, Indiana, in the 2023 Ohio Valley Conference Basketball Tournament, right here on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball was brought to you by Giovanni's of Moorhead. Order online at giovannispizzapower.com. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. The Kentucky Welding Institute, experience that's built, not bought. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. The Jack Rowe Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Insurance the right way, the human way. Moorhead Pediatrics, exceptional care for what matters most to you. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Fazoli's of Moorhead, fast, fresh Italian. Joshua Trent Custom Designs, looking to build? Let us design your house plans. Wendy's of Moorhead, fresh, never frozen. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care, one patient at a time. Commonwealth Chiropractic, treating everyone like family. Moorhead State University Bookstore, a Barnes & Noble College Store. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. And Standard for Builders Paving and Sealing of West Liberty, quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll.